Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. How are you doing Rocky? Well, a night in for me and Rocky tonight. Uh, what can we talk about today, eh? What can we talk about? What do you reckon, Don, uh, Rocky? I've just been uh, reading this book to my daughter. Doug the bug that goes by it's amazing what uh, kids want you to read a minute father at year 2020 <laughs> or oh, daddy's source of the year might get loads of free daddy's source right uh, I'll pour my son a San Miguel first uh, I'm going to talk about the Barry Hearn situation and the interview that he's done with his employee, Mr. Coogan Cassius. Uh, let me know what you think to this. Are you ready? Here we go. Dylan White has kind of, since he's made his return to the ring and his this situation regarding UK has now uh, been resolved in his favour, obviously. Um, he's been on kind of uh, a social media rant towards, you know, Deontay Wilder, we know Wilder's rematching Fury, but are we, are we to feel a little bit here, in, obviously for Dylan White, regarding that situation, that he may have to wait another year till 2021 to, to get this shot? I think you're absolutely right, no, I feel for Dylan White, I think he's been terribly badly treated by the governing body. Sue him then. Cared by a lot of people, but that's more a question for him and his lawyers mm -hmm. to sort out, because if he's getting the right advice, which I'm sure he is, there's definitely a, a legal situation going to be brought into that one. Because I think he's, I think he's been very harshly treated. Um, what are your thoughts on Fury fighting Wilder? Uh, we expected. Right. Ninety-seven thousand views that video. Barry Hearn at the darts. Coogan turning up at the darts. But since when has darts been uh, boxing? But anyway, good luck to them point I'm trying to make is you all saw my video yesterday why doesn't Dillian White sue the WBC well I'll tell you why he's not going to sue them and we spoke about it yesterday didn't we he's not going to sue the WBC because he doesn't want to fight Deontay Wilder Deontay Wilder's tied up for a year with Tyson Fury now so Dillian and Joshua are calling out they're calling out Wilder. Why would you do that when he's tied up? It's it's a merry-go-round, isn't it? And the public, we're all being fed rubbish, aren't we, really? It's just one lot of rubbish after another lot of rubbish. And what I can't get my head round and keep going on about it. And I have people in the street come up to me and they say, oh, Wilder's ducking Dillian White. He's hiding behind WBC. Not true, not true. Oh, oh, oh. Ask anybody in the industry, they know. Ask people who, why don't you go and ask all you casual boxing fans, go and ask certain people in the industry. Go and ask people around here. Go and ask Dominic Ingle. Go ask Steffi Bull, Dave Caldwell, Dennis Hobson, Asi Valley. Robert McCracken, Max McCracken, Richie Woodall, go and ask all them people. Nine out of ten of them won't tell you. Because they all want to work with Eddie Earn. They all want to get on Sky. So they're not going to rock their own... They're not going to upset their little gravy train, are they? That's true. Now, I'll tell you straight, Dillian White... We don't want to fight Wilder. If he wanted to fight Wilder, we'd have fought him. Dillian White has been going on about fighting Joshua for five years now, since he got beat by Joshua. Or is it four years? He fought Joshua in a British title fight, didn't he? Got knocked out. I thought he did well until he got knocked out now. <laughs> I don't want to hear about how we're unfit and that. That's, if you're not unfit and your cardio's not there, that's your own problem. He's obviously better now, isn't he? His, his cardio's better now. He's with a world-class trainer, but 
This is how I look at it. Dillian White were offered the chance to fight for the WBO, the WBA, the IBO and the IBF. Four of the five belts in a rematch with somebody who's from the same town as in London, the same area, the South Southerners, aren't they? So they're going to fight. There's bad blood. Wembley Stadium, 90,000 fans, millions of pounds. But he knocked it back because he needed longer and all that. Well, he knew in October, November that that offer were there. They know. But when you're saying you need longer and all that, we're talking about the heavyweight championship of the world, babe. The greatest title ever. But didn't want to fight for that. What? So is it is Dillian White being pushed out there to say he didn't want the fight, or did Eddie Earn want to keep them apart, keep Dillian doing pay-per-views against lesser opposition, or did Dillian just not want it? But I personally think Dillian White's a warrior, but I also think it's a bit of both. Because the secret is to get mileage out of everything. I used to di direct message Dillian White and I'd crack with him. I invited him to a few shows. Dennis has invited him to a few shows. It's not far from his training camp in Loughborough. And we were having crack when he were about the time we were going to fight David Allen, who were my neighbour. Now, I said to Dillian White, over a period of time when we were texting, I said, Dillian, Eddie Earn will have you fighting Shizora again. Now, I'm not going to say what Dillian said. It was short and sweet and he's a man of few words, but he seemed a nice kid. But I were right, one not I, all along? He did fight Shizora again. And now there's even talk of a trilogy, but two great fights. Parker fight were a great fight. So, we can't knock it that Dillian's in exciting fights. But I want to see Dillian White step up. I don't want to see Parker rematch, Chisora trilogy. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see them at all. I don't want to see Povetkin, 41 year old. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Pulev approaching 40 year old against Joshua. Povetkin were approaching 40 year old against Joshua. Why do we need to see Joshua against Povetkins and Pulefs and things like that? Why? Why do we need that? Why? Why can't we have Parker Joshua rematch? That's a decent fight, isn't it? Why can't we have Usek? Why isn't Dillian White calling out Usek or Hergovic? I think Dillian against Usek and Hergovic, I think they're good fights because Dillian White's going to leave it in the ring, isn't it? The Parker fight, I were critical of because it were a pay-per-view, but it were in my top three for fights at year. Chisora, the first fight, was a fight of the year in Britain, all day long. The second one, Dillian were losing and he pulled it out at bag. Exciting fighter, but who's advising him? I don't know. I don't know, but... I think the politics can drive you mad. So, anyway, to all them people that haven't, su haven't subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Hit the red button and you get your porky fix straight to your phone. Alright, shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. And Robin Reed Multivitamins. Alright, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Oh, I've got uh, somebody who's coming up to see me and Dennis to do an interview. He, uh, uh, Dennis's office. His name is. He's got a YouTube channel. I want to give you his details. Uh, he sent me his. He's just in a video. I want everybody to get behind this kid, right? His name is. Michael James Adimeskel. So it's Michael James and it's A N D E M E S K E L. He's got 536 subscribers 
He's, it's an old channel, he's a young lad, he does some boxing as well, he does a bit of sparring. I think he's based in London, he's a nice kid, I think he's a mate of Ingram's. Uh, so, he's doing, he's, uh, he's only just started, uh, only just started out. He's on Facebook, Michael Adimesco. Michael Adimesco is called. Uh, I think he's on Twitter as well, is he? Let's have a look. Uh, Michael Adimesco, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Uh, oh, is he doing a bit for MTK? Well, he seems a nice kid. Michael Adimesco, he's on uh, Twitter. He's just done a video called problems in boxing so get behind him and give him a, a, a subscribe so peace out keep on trucking